Hello my Sagittarius friends. This is your love reading for June 15th through the 30th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. <clears throat> that was a four cups just flipped over there. Um, but as I was pre-shuffling off camera, the Ten of Wands and um, the Eight of Swords flipped over, which is telling me that you guys um, are, are really weighed down by your thoughts right now. Okay, you're, you're trying to settle your emotions as well. There's something that's that's kind of got you in an upheaval, I feel, for a lot of you. Okay, let's see, we're gonna do a Celtic cross for you guys. What is the energy that is around Sagittarius? The hanged man, you feel stuck. Um, there's something where you guys are feeling like your hands are tied, and I feel like you're trying to figure your way out of something okay you feel like something there there's something that's weighing heavily on you your thoughts are imprisoning you there's something that you feel like you cannot change there's a situation that you feel like you know there's nothing I can do about this it's just happening um, to me and um, there there's absolutely nothing I can do to change it Let's see what's crossing you right now. Mm, a lot of stuck energy. A lot of stuck, stagnant energy, I feel. The Queen of Swords was crossing you. Is there something that you need to see clearly? Okay. Um, you, need to, you need to, I also feel, be a little more open to hearing and seeing the truth. I feel like there's something that you're blocking yourself from seeing. Okay. Um, maybe be a, a tad bit more mm, emotionally available as well for some of you here. Hmm. It may be not be so defensive. I'm getting a lot of defensiveness. I'm getting a lot of... Um, thinking that you know that a situation is the way that you are actually seeing it and really not seeing things for the way that they really are seeing things from maybe the other person's point of view even okay Gemini Libra Aquarius energy there what is the underlying issue here for Sagittarius Queen of Wands. This could definitely be another person. This could be a same-sex relationship as well. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, could be you. Okay. This could be you guys feeling very angry. Maybe you guys have spoken some angry words and, you know, it's got your headspace all tied up because it's like you don't really know how to get out of something. But I'm feeling like however you're viewing things may not be the way that things actually are or things may not be as bad as they initially appear to be. Um, maybe you guys got angry and said some things here to someone, okay? Or somebody did this to you. Let's see, in the recent past, we had a Hierophant. Very traditional way of viewing things very traditional way of being Taurus energy here there's something very sinful I feel like you guys believe about a certain situation maybe this is about a same-sex relationship does not have to be but there's something that you feel like um, is not the way that it's supposed to be Something is not the way that it's supposed to be. Things are not supposed to be um, this way. Whatever that pertains to for you. Okay. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are. Six of Cups. Mm. 
you know, it. I'm getting that you guys have very fond memories of the family life. You have your way of viewing things. You have your way of believing that things should be very traditional. Mother, father, children situation here. I'm, I'm strongly getting for some of you. Um, this is about a homosexual relationship here. And somebody not agreeing with it. Remembering things the way they used to be, um, thinking about things in regards to the way you feel like they should be for some of you. Scorpio energy there. Let's see what's coming in for you guys here. What's coming in for my Sagittarius? Seven of Cups, again, Scorpio energy. There's a lot of confusion. You really don't know how to feel about something. Um, I see you trying to work things out in your head. And I think that's why this hanged man is here. It's because you're really trying to change your perspective. Find a reason to change your perspective. Because you feel like that is the only thing that you can change. You can't change somebody's situation and what they identify with and what they do. So you're having a hard time changing though because you are very traditional, I feel, for some of you. You guys are able to shift and move locations, move jobs, you know, kind of be a chameleon in certain um, situations. But I feel like there's something that you have a hard time changing. There's something that within you, your beliefs, you have a hard time changing. But I see you trying to figure it out and shift your perspective and how you feel about a situation here. Let's see. Sagittarius and how they're viewing this situation currently. The King of Swords. Hmm. You're really trying to remove your feelings from it and think about it logically. It's what you're doing. You're, you're trying to take an introspective view of the world as a hanged man and remove your feelings because I feel like you're so very close to this situation. Maybe, you know, I'm speaking directly to a male. This reading is not going to be for a lot of you. This is for somebody in particular. Or maybe a few people in particular. I made you another reading for Sagittarius. But this is coming through so very strongly. That this is a male I feel that I'm dealing with. Uh, or talking to rather. You're a father. And you have very strong views around homosexuality. But you love whoever this person is, whether it's your daughter, whether it's your son, whether it's um, somebody that you are involved with even. You know, maybe that person's bisexual. But you're trying to think about it logically and remove your feelings from it. But you're coming across very cold and aloof. Maybe you guys have really, you know, been very controlling or you feel like you've been controlling in this situation. Um, maybe you got very angry and said some things that you, you know, are, are really kind of thinking about right now. Let's see. What is the influence here for Sagittarius? Two of Pentacles. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to balance the situation out. You're trying to figure out how to balance this situation. How to make things right. I feel like there is there's somebody that um, you guys feel like you have maybe gotten into it with. Offended. Um, but at the same time, you know, you love this person. But you're having a hard time accepting is what 
I'm getting. Okay. Let's see what the hopes or fears are here. Page of Wands. Hmm. I, I'm feeling like you guys are wanting to hear some good news like you know maybe just maybe this person has changed but this is a page though your hopes are fleeting because you kind of figure like what what are the chances of that you know what are the chances that this person is going to change their ways you're not hopeful and that's why I feel like this page is here. What's the overall? I feel like this is also um, a child for a lot of you. This is a child for a lot of you. Some of you, this is your partner who may be bisexual. Okay. But whoever this is, it's a soulmate definitely a soulmate and you know soulmates are you know they're here for us to learn from whether it's your child whether it's your mate whether it's your cousin your friend your co-worker um, we're here to learn things from this soulmate okay and so I think the situation is presenting itself for you to learn something from it whatever that means for you guys okay let's see what the outcome is here what is the outcome for Sagittarius the nine of Pentacles a lot of you will release yourself if this is a um, partner that you're with you will release yourself because you just cannot um, you can't handle excuse me you can't handle this kind of relationship um, this bisexual, these bisexual needs of this person. And you would choose to be single. But what I'm getting is that for some of you, um, you know, you, you're doing this begrudgingly, of course. But look at the face on this. Let's see. Look at the face on that lady. She doesn't appear to be too happy. Okay, so this is Virgo energy here. So take that in consideration, guys. All right, so we have Scorpio, Virgo, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see, Capricorn energy is here. I feel um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if I didn't already say that, Pisces is here, and um, Taurus. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. I know.